What's going on guys? This is Jacob over at Eddie's Hideout. I wanted to stop in today and give you a little tutorial on how to use and maintain your new quartz banger. All the products that I have out here today are available from us, so feel free to DM us or text us or call and ask and we'll be happy to help you out with the setup. So to start, we have a fluid glass. Uh, this is a straight fab here. I'm going to go ahead and use our 710 funnel to get this filled up. The 710 funnel is an awesome accessory that we have available. It just helps to keep you from splashing. Get everything right to the right spot. So once you have your rig filled up, you're going to go ahead and take your new quartz banger, put it on there. And so from this point, the next step would be to begin torching your nail. Now just to give you an idea of what we have available with us before we start, we have our tool. We have some Q-tips and some ISO. These are contained in a rock solid ISO container. We have a temp gun, a bubble cap, and a torch. Now as far as your cap goes, you have a lot of different options. You have bubble caps and directionals. We're using the Gordo Scientific bubble cap today, so this is the Riptide. So what you would want to do is you're going to start out by torching your nail for about 30 to 40 seconds depending on your preference. So I'll give you guys a little example of that. I usually like to hit from the bottom and then come around to the sides a little bit. And like I said, you'll do this for about 30 to 45 seconds. Sometimes I'll go and hit the inside of the banger a little bit, come back down from the bottom. So you just want to get this nice and evenly hot all around. Once you're done, you take your torch, set it to the side. Now from this point, this is where your temp gun is going to come in a lot of handy. So to use your temp gun, you have two methods. You can either come in from the top. This gives me a pretty accurate read and you can watch the temp climb down as you're using it or you can come in from the bottom. When you come in from the bottom, just check like this. You wanna make sure that whichever method that you use, you stick with to stay consistent. So this is climbing down right now. I didn't torch it for necessarily the full time, but pretty close, I'd say we did a good job. We're right now at about 730 and it's dropping down. My preferred method, or my preferred temperatures would be roughly between 600 and 650. You can always go a little bit lower for a more vapory hit, um, or you can go higher for a thicker, denser smoke. Um, it will be a little bit toastier for sure. I'd say anything below seven, though, you should be able to maintain your banger. So at this point, we're right at about 630. That's a good point for me. So I take my tool. And then you exhale. You can go back and hit that until you stop getting vapor. If you'd like, you can go back at the end if you still have a lot of concentrate in your dish, and you can go ahead and retorch that as well. So you just want to do a slight retorch. You don't want to scorch it or anything, and then you can put your cap back on if you need to finish your hit there. Once you're done, to maintain your nail, the first step will be to come in and Q-tip right here. So first thing you do is you Q-tip out any residual and throw these away. So usually I have another container to throw away my dirty Q-tips. Then from there, after you've Q-tipped out any residual, I'll come back in and I'll use a little bit of isopropyl. I recommend 99% isopropyl for the cleanest experience. And you'll come back in with that. And usually I'll wait a little bit and I'll let it cool down just a little bit so you don't shock it or anything. And you'll come back in with your ISO and you go and clean it up again. This will get off any of the film that you weren't able to see before, um, that you weren't able to get with your traditional Q-tip method. Once you're done with that, you throw this away and you're good to go. So that was your tutorial today. Welcome to Hedy's on IGTV. Thank you guys very much. See you soon.